What's up YouTube, Mr. Computer Answers here for a new video for you guys today. This is going to be basically building on this video here because this video is very pointless actually. It's a pretty vague and actually there's really no point I'm going to end up deleting it right after I'm done with this video. Uh, to reset your workspace you just have to quit the program and I didn't realize that until after I posted the video and I've just been lazy to not take it off. So yeah. Anyways, uh, so when I was conf I was very confused on how to customize my workspace when I got Cinema 4D, and I was I was kind of mad because I couldn't find any videos on YouTube. I went and searched how to customize your workspace in Cinema 4D. How how simple could that question be? There's uh, well, there's n no tutorials on it. Absolutely none, except for this one, and it comes to this page here, and there's an advertisement. That would be an advertisement. So the new Samsung Smart TV. As soon as the ad is done, music and movies, connect with friends, and everything else you love. The video would begin. Samsung. Hi, this is John. It comes with this guy, and as you can see, it's from 2008, so it's ancient. And it goes to this guy with his little camera on his computer screen. He's on Windows XP, and he goes over one concept, which is pretty much useless. I mean, if you know about layout workspace at all. Anyways, let's get to the video. So you open up Cinema 4D, and this is your basic standard layout. So, in order to, let's say, okay, to start, let's say we want a content browser in here. So we bring up the, we go to window, and then you open up your content browser. You just click on it, and it comes up with this window. has all these. And basically, in order to make it a tab, you can put it anywhere. You have to go click on this little button here, make tab. Then you, if let's say we want it over here, click on this button, make tab. Now all you do, take contact browser, drag it onto out, click here, and drag it onto attributes, and there's your tabs. You can do the same thing for anything on here. So. Let's just do another one for an example. Uh, open up this and make tab. So we want it over here. Make tab, drag, and drop. And got these. If you want to switch it over here, you just drag over here and it moves. And if you, if you just want it to be out, you just drag. Oops. Yeah, well, you could do that uh, if you just wanted to be out. But anyways, uh, let's say you like this workspace a lot and you want to save it. Well, to do this, you go to Window, you go to Layout, and you go to Save Layout As. And it'll go to this, and then you can save it as whatever you want. If you want it to be the Startup Layout, then you can click this button here. You could load your layout, and then you can reset to the standard layout. And I'll show you my layout that I generally like to use. So here it is. And I like this because it's got my uh, content browser here, timeline, very good for keyframing. And it's just all together, I don't know, just the way I like it. There will probably be a download link for this in the description if you want it. And that is about it for this video. If you like this video, if you have any questions about the layout or stuff similar to this video, concept idea, whatnot, then post a comment, send me a message, whatever. Any computer problems that have to do with programs, more or less, send me a message. And yeah, that's about it. Rate, comment, and subscribe.